But I want to give it one more challenge. So I went ahead and I found uh, this image. So here you can see we have this handwritten image. Uh, I can kind of read this. Hello Rachel, it was a pleasure seeing you again at the open house the other week. So I can read this, no problem. But let's see if Mistral uh, OCR can actually read this letter here. Uh, so let's open this and let's do... Let's swap out this with hand PNG and let's run it. Again, very quick, so hand.md. Uh, windswept, was that correct? So let's compare this. So it says windswept, yeah, that's okay, so... Uh, hello Rachel, it was a pleasure seeing you again at our open house the other week. Yeah, that's correct. You're always the first person I think of when I'm out networking and building relationships. Uh, yeah, that's good. Please let us know if you can be our assistant to anyone you know. Uh, see you soon. Blaine. That was wrong. So this was supposed to be Diane. But other than that, it was pretty good. So not too bad at uh, analyzing handwriting. We didn't get kind of the, the bottom stuff here. Uh, I don't know. But uh, yeah, pretty good. Not too bad. So that is also an interesting use case. Actually using this on... Um, on handwriting but I can see very uh, a lot of cases where this could go wrong but if it's just like small misspellings uh, uh, if you use an LLM like we did here uh, these LLMs kind of understand small spelling errors but if it's like huge errors that kind of numbers and stuff that could be a problem uh, but it is pretty interesting to be honest. So that was the Mistral OCR model. Definitely go try it out. Uh, we're gonna do maybe some future videos where we kind of introduce AI agent, agentic workflow, where we can implement this OCR model to do some processing on some documents our agent can go and download. 